Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty at chapter twenty one. Chapter twenty one is about the electric charge and the electric field. So you can see we have two small charged particles, Q one and Q two, and it has from the fixed point with the same equal length L, right? And the small angle is Q one and Q two. Now we need to find this uh, ratio of Q1 with Q2 in different situations. So in this case, we find this is a balanced for particle 1 and particle 2, right? So we can consider the force analysis on particle 1. So we can see for particle 1, the force acting the first one, gravity, M1g, right? And also the tension from the string Ft1, and also the repulsive force on by the particle 2, so we write it as Fe1. Okay, now we can project the tension Ft1 in x component becomes Ft1 sin theta. So it, this is angle theta 1, so projected in x component it becomes the Ft1 sin theta 1. In the y component it becomes Ft1 cosine theta 1. See, particle 1 is balanced, so at the S component net force equal to zero. At the Y component net force equal to zero, right? So we can write these two equations. S component, this term minus this term equal to zero. At the Y component, this term minus this term equal to zero. And then now from this equa these two equations, we can get the function for Fe1. See, we can write it there. We can say Fe1 equal to M1g tangent theta 1. As it tells you, this is a small angle, small angle. And also, we need to find the ratio of theta 1 and theta 2. So in this way, we can write the tangent theta 1 as a theta 1 because this is a small angle. So we can do this replacement, right? And very similarly, you can see this Particle 1 and particle 2 is mirror symmetry. So similarly, you can get Ft2, Fe2 as the M2g Q2, right? And you can see this uh, electric force for particle 1 and particle 2 are just a repulsive force. And also, they equal, the magnitude equals to K, Q1, Q2 divided by the distance. So the magnitude for the electric part, electric force on the particle one equal to the electric force on the particle two. Do you agree? Yes. So therefore, we can write this uh, equation. Fe1 equal to Fe2. And then we get the ratio Q1 over Q2 equal to M2 over M1. Now you can see for first cases, they tell you m1 equal to m2 equal to m, so this ratio becomes to 1, right? In second case, tell you the m2 equal to 2m and m1 equal to m, so you can say this ratio equal to 2. Thank you.